Hey, good morning everybody. Today is July 27th, 2022, and I just wanted to do a 10-day update since my last video to show you how much progress uh, the fig trees have made in my uh, collection. This is the Quirky's Honey. I uh, Just a couple days ago, I made a video about how it's dropping its figlets. It's aborting. It's aborted about five figlets, and I made some adjustments. Um, I poured in some banana peel water, which should be loaded with potassium, and uh, that helps the overall health of a plant as well as circulation. Um, and then I started watering it day and night, and I'm just I've just been soaking the ground with uh, water. And this is my Letizia. Um, well, before I get into the Letizia, I just wanted to say that it's been about uh, four or five days and it has not dropped any other figs. Uh, previous to that, it was dropping uh, a figlet once each day for about five days and it got me really concerned. Um, it's got about 14 figlets left on it and they are starting to turn a lighter shade of green now and so I'm going to keep up with this regimen with watering it day and night you know to a new person growing fig trees for the first time you know when you think you're water over watering something in the ground it's <laughs> or in a pot. I think that with figs, they're a little bit different of an animal. And uh, when they have figs on them, I think their needs increase exponentially for water. So, um, so far, it's been working. Um, and then down to the Letizia, as you can see, we've got several figlets. Uh, the Letizia I got from cutting. Uh, back in March of this year. So this was just a cutting and we've got beautiful growth on it. Um, and now down to the orchard, if you want to call it that. Um, it's so funny because I watch Harvey videos and um, <laughs> he's got these, this bird, you know, predatory bird speaker in the background and all I hear are these crazy bird calls and stuff like that and I realized from my previous video that uh I've got those naturally <laughs> we've got hawks and all kinds of things I and mean, we've got like pterodactyls that live here on the pond um and it's nuts <laughs> so my one last video sounded like one of Harvey's. It was so funny. Okay, so. Oh my god, this is my yellow long neck. Um, and I want you to see this. I know, I keep showing it. I'm just so flippin' impressed. This, this was a stick on April 18th. I mean realize what this means this was three months ago it was a stick and you know, I don't have a tape measure it's hard to see how big it is but um, let me see if I can stand next to it and show you I don't know if I'm in it or not but I'm about I'm short I'm about five foot three And that's how big it is. I don't know if I got my salt in there or not. But anyway, um, this is, oh, let me show you. This was not there before. Back, focus, figlet. Beautiful, and what I did was I pinched almost every branch. Doesn't seem like it's focusing but I pinched every branch just because it was it's growing like crazy um, and then in I what I did here was 
focus in. Darn it. You know, sometimes it doesn't focus out here, but when I look at the video afterwards, it's focused. There we go. Okay, so right there was another offshoot like this one. And what I did was I broke it off very gently and carefully and I stuck it in some miracle Grow to see if uh, um, in a humid environment, first of all, in a humid environment, I put it in a container with a uh, plastic cover on it, um, a dome over it. It was basically a water bottle. So I left the top of the water bottle open and um, uh, I put it on a heating mat and um, you know exposed to whatever light comes into my sunroom and uh, I put plastic wrap around you know the the um, circumference of it just to make sure the moisture stays in because obviously I had to cut the water bottle in half to put it in there and so I created a nice tight seal around uh, the uh, midway point of the bottle and so far, so great. And if that gives me roots, and I know Dan Foster does this with uh, tips from his fig trees. I did it with a whole offshoot and I took off the bottom um, leaves and I left two of the top leaves and then a bud and the bud has actually leafed out. It's doing great. And I keep spraying it in there to keep humidity in there uh, and moisture in there. Um, and so it's a different method than rooting fig cuttings, where fig cuttings, they do better in the dark uh, when, you, when you've got a, um, you know, an offshoot or a branch and you're trying to root that. It's, I think it's better to get the light that it needs for its leaves because, uh, I mean, all the more energy it can get from the sun, I think the more vigorous it will be in the root area. And so that's what I did there. And as you can see, we've got many, many double bumps. So let's see if we can get it to focus there. It's hard to focus there, but you can see all those double bumps down that branch. Um, this was the one branch that seemed to have only offshoots coming out, like branching um, and no figs. But we've got this one at the top and I'm wondering if some of these buds that um, are coming out of the sides might end up being figs as well. As I told you in the previous video, it's weird because a lot of these look like single buds to me and they ended up being uh, figs. Case in point, my, my white Marseille. Um, I think the last video, they were just bumps. Mm, I don't remember anymore, but they've gotten really nice sized um, maybe an, like an extra large pea size, right? This is, uh, what is this one? Oh, and the white Marseille was an actual plant in May that I got from Olga. Uh, but it was tiny and the roots were, you know, minimal. And now it's great. This is my uh, Colonel Littman's Black Cross. I got this as a cutting in March. Um, and it's doing pretty well I don't see any double bumps on it but I don't know I well, actually this branch this branch down there right there it's got double bumps and so it looks like I'll be getting Colonel Littman's Black Cross this is another Colonel Littman's Black Cross same time just hasn't done um, as well as the other one. This is my Col de Dame Noir. Thank goodness I thought I had lost this. Uh, my last video I only had like these, no, I had these leaves and then that branch was barely visible. Um, I think that was in June, my June update or my June video and now that one little branch has grown exponentially and I thought I saw double bumps but I could be wrong you know I'm 
I'm not great at identifying the double bumps unless they're really obvious. <laughs> All right, this is my Smith fig. And believe it or not, this was a cutting in May. Uh-huh. A cutting. There's the cutting in May. And look at it. I've got them real close together so it's hard to see but that's the smith right there and just to give you some perspective let me show you what else i got at the same time from the same seller and i just up potted this yesterday this is my marius negretta <laughs> same seller same time as the smith let me put them right next to each other that's where the Mary's Negretta is. That's where the Smith is. Unbelievable, right? I know, I know. Um, what else did I get? I think everything else I got from her died and I'm so sad about that. Um, this is a Rondi uh, Bordeaux that I got from, that I got from um, Olga. And I think she may have sent it to me by accident. Um, but she sent it along with my white Marseille and I was so grateful. I thought she had gifted it to me, but then I started thinking there's no way. Uh, but it's, this one's loaded with double bumps. I don't know if you can see them. You probably can see them. But the most pronounced is right there. Right there. Um, and this is going like wildfire too. And I'm being extra cautious with these uh, very productive varieties and I'm watering them twice as much as well. So every morning and every night um, and sometimes just in between. <laughs> um, because these multi-branched ones, um, they seem it looks like their soil dries out really quickly. They're all in five gallon pots. And what I've done is I've ordered uh, a few 15 gallon pots for these ones that are ultra aggressive, like the uh, yellow long neck. And for example, my Negron. Negron, look at it. I mean, it's just, it's so loaded. it's so loaded with branches and it dries out really fast and the leaves curl up like you know it's somewhat stressed all the time or something like that I mean uh, the figlets are forming really well like there's my first there's the second um, and then I've got a bunch of little figlets that are going to be popping through. They're all double bumps at this time. But I would like to move this, for example, in a 15 gallon and let it sort of breathe, you know? Um, and so that's what I'm going to do in the next few days. And I mean, hopefully it doesn't abort any of the wonderful figs, but I think it'll be grateful to be in a bigger pot that retains more water and has more nutrients in it. And this was the crap soil I put in. So for it to be doing this well with the crap soil, I'm going to put in the miracle Grow. It might give it more of a boost. And maybe that's why the leaves are curling as well. So um, maybe with the miracle Grow, it'll help to alleviate any problems it's got. This is my green Aishia. And my June video, that's all the green Aishia was. And now um, I've repotted it into a five gallon and miracle grow, and it's just sensational. I don't see any double bumps, double bumpage, but that's okay as long as I didn't lose it. This was from Harvey, and um, I lost so many of Harvey's other ones. I know he'll, he would probably be, you know, shaking his head at me. What a loser, because his cuttings are so amazing. 
they survived with me like through multiple mistakes and uh, even though they rooted very quickly you know it was the up potting like I said in my other video and this is my Peter's honey Peter's honey is now loaded loaded with figlets and double bumps everywhere so I'm really excited that I might actually get to try Peter's honey this year um, I just have to look into how many days um, from formation of double bumps to you know fig ripening uh, days that is because I know some of them are like 75 days some of them are 90 days some of them are 120 days um, so that's yet to be seen oh this is my long doubt long doubt I don't it's doing great in growth but um, I, the, this is how large this is how big it was when I got it um, and it's grown that much um, no double bumps so far that I can see or recognize um, this is my spadafora I got this from New Jersey fig farm There we go in February as a cut. And it just shot up this summer. It was pretty slow to grow. I um I believe we've got several double bumps on this. And so I may get to taste a spotophora this year, which is awesome. Um and I pinch that as well to stop it growing vertical uh, I want to promote branching I'd like to keep all my trees lower um, and fuller that's kind of what I prefer um, this is my Noir de Barbatane I received this from One Green World just like the Peter's Honey and finally, it's giving me some nice leaves from the poop soil I put it in. Um, and I believe I have a couple of double bumps. I think I've got a couple double bumps. I don't know if you can tell. It's hard to tell on this, but they're tiny. And uh, this might be a later variety, so or it takes longer but so I'll probably bring those varieties in this is my Italian honey it's done really super well or Italian 258 not Italian honey I got this as a small plant uh, again from Olga uh, in June and it's done really well the the thickness of the stem has it is really impressive so far um, it's just mind-blowing to me when they come to me and they are itty bitty skinny little sticks and then they thicken up like this to almost the same width if not thicker than the um original cutting that it was grown from like right away they thicken up like that so cool i think i see double bumps like right there but i don't know I'm not the best at identifying this, so I'm not sure. It's not focusing. Okay. Um, and that's my Italian 258. The, these are my black Madeiras. And again, these were cuttings, the same cutting that I split in two. And now I've got two little trees growing. Uh, this one is full of double bumps as I showed in the last video and so far they're still just bumps there we go they're still just bumps but several of them and I will bring this inside and put it on a heating mat and grow lights and all that so that I can taste in a black Madeira and I got these as cuttings in April as well so this is another one I got in April three months ago in comparison to uh, 
the smith as you can see right um this is a celeste I bought this recently this month july 14th 2022 and it seems to me the only progress i'm noticing is the leaves are getting a little bigger and no double bumps leon's montenegro got this in july um and this one's doing great and i i've got double bumps well, let me right there i've got double bumps there um i don't know if it's got any anywhere else but that's all oh yeah down there oh. leon's montenegro Um, this is my crema de frijol, supposedly, so we will see once it fruits. It's got a lot of double bumps, and they're swelling up a bit more than the last video, but that's about it. I've pinched all of these because they, too, are really aggressive growers, um, and I want them to focus on the fruit production because I need to identify what this is. Um as soon as I can. This is my second yellow long neck and still pretty great with double bumps, but, and they're swelling just a bit. No incredibly fantastic, you know, progress. Let me see, does it have a figlet anywhere? No, I don't think I'm seeing a figlet anywhere yet, but they're still, they're double bumps and they're swelling. Next it are two more Letizias that I had up potted. Uh, Letizias, I got them all at the same time in March. And you saw the one I have uh, up, up where we were in the beginning of the video. And I've got those planted in ground, uh, that one planted in ground. And it's already given me figlets. These I got at the same time, but they're way behind. Um, and I don't see any double bumps anywhere I don't mind because the other one does this is supposedly figine uh, or a Verde, uh, verdino del nord it's got a lot of double bumps uh, I haven't pinched this yet and I'm not sure if I will because it seems to have slowed down in its uh, vertical growth and so I'm hoping it's, this is another one and it's full of double bumps. And so I'm hoping that it's now concentrating on forming the figlets. They, the uh, double bumps are swelling. This is my Italian Laterula and I got this from One Green Nursery as well back in April, same time as Peter's Honey. Noir de Barbatane, um, Negron, and I, I mean, it's it's been doing really poorly. Look at the leaves. And again, I told you last time it's from the bad soil. Um, but it is giving me double bumps. I mean, it is giving me double bumps, so I will hopefully get to try this variety. I, I don't think they have a long hang time. Uh, but I could be wrong. And I'm only supposing that because it's typically an, an early fig. And so if it's early, chances are it, it's a shorter hang time is my assumption. But I could be wrong. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I kind of wanted to try to repot it and put it in better soil. But not sure if I want to disturb it just yet. Um, I may do that. I moved my Desert King over here. It was just getting so crowded over there. Uh, Desert King, I don't have any double bumps and I don't want any double bumps. I just want it to give me a ton of branches, which it is doing. Um, I think that is a double bump. And if I see any figlets, I'll just pop them off. Yeah, there are double bumps. Okay, 
so it's got double bumps I'm going to um, squeeze off the little figlets if it gives me any um, because I do want it to concentrate on growth because next year I want all the Reba off of it next is my Olympium in ground and if I'm not mistaken, I think I'm seeing double bumps on it. Uh, it seems so small to have double bumps, but I would love it if it gave me something. And Olympian is, is early as well, and so I'm hopeful, since it's still July, that I may get a crop in maybe... September, October, we'll see. This is my Kaios Dark, it's a Greek fig. Um, and this is my seeds, trying to grow uh, Calamurna figs from seed. They were the dried figs that were organic. Um, so far no progress and it's been over two weeks for that one for sure um so we'll see i'm going to put a plastic ziploc bag over it instead of that red top see if that helps any uh, i've got several sort of field cuttings that i stuck into the ground to see if they will come back to me so far i do see for the um Colonel Littman's Black Cross, I do see one, well, two little, you know, leaf buds that have not died yet. And so I'm kind of hopeful for that one. But everything else is, there's zero progress. But if there is progress, I will let you know. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.